Okay, so uh, in this video, we're going to study quadratic functions. So here's the quadratic functions. We can study how to write this in standard form, and then we can talk about the vertex of this quadratic function. So as you all know, vertex could be the highest point or the lowest point of a graph. So we call the maximum or the minimum. And then we can also talk about the domain and range of the function. And finally, you can sketch this fun function. This would be a parabola. So we'll do that. And we can also talk about one last thing. Um, we can talk about where the function is increasing. And we can also talk about decreasing. So these are the detail that we can study just by looking at the quadratic and standard form. Well, what is the standard form? The standard form is f of x is equal to some a times x minus h squared plus k. And then from here, you know that the vertex of this uh, function, it's going to be h comma k. So the vertex can tell us a lot of things about this parabola, the shape of it as well. So if, if your a value is greater than zero, then your parabola would look something like this. So that means this is the vertex, which now be a minimum point. Now, if your a is less than zero, then your parabola is facing down, which will look something like that. So your vertex is going to be a maximum point, okay? So we're going to write all of this down, uh, but first we're gonna write it in standard form. So let's go ahead and start. So now to write this function in standard form, uh, which we said is f of x is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. So what are we going to do is complete the square. So I'm going to rearrange the terms. So we have x squared, uh, negative x squared, minus 6x plus 1. So that's how you rewrite your function, just rearrange the terms. And now what we're going to do is we're going to complete the square for these terms right here. So we leave the one alone. So we're going to um, pull out that negative one from x squared and negative six x. We have a negative one times x squared plus six x. Leave a space and then we still have one outside. And we have f of x right here. So we're going to complete the square only inside here. So hopefully you remember how to do it. The idea is to focus on the B term, which is um, six, and you take half of it and then you square it. So that would give you three. And then when you square it, you get nine. So nine is the number that you would add to both sides, well, uh, inside the parentheses in this case, because of that negative one in the front, not both sides yet. So that's the extra number we add inside the parentheses to complete the square. So now overall, you haven't just added nine. What you have added to the right side is this number times this extra number because that negative one modifies everything that belong inside the parentheses. So we need to also do plus negative one times nine on that side as well, okay? So now we clear this up. So we have a perfect square, which is negative x plus three square plus one from before. And on the left side, we have f of x minus nine because negative one times nine would be a negative nine. And finally, to place this in standard form, we need to isolate f of x. So we're gonna go ahead and add nine to both sides to finally solve for f of x. So hence we have f of x is equal to negative x plus three square plus 10. So that is your standard form. Okay, so now that we have a standard form, we can analyze everything. So we know our a is this number right here. That's your a. So a is less than zero, it's negative one. Well, that means roughly sketching, you know your parabola is gonna be like this it's gonna be downward. So the vertex that we have 
is actually a maximum. So this is the vertex. So our vertex for this problem, it's going to be negative three is the X coordinate and positive 10 is the Y coordinate. And this is a maximum because A is less than zero, A is negative. And then we can also talk about what's the maximum value. Well, the maximum value is how far this point reach, which is the Y coordinate of the vertex. So the maximum value of this parabola is 10 and it happens at X equals negative three. Okay, so moving on. Um, now let's find the intercepts. Well, for the X intercept, we set y to zero, or in this case, f of x is our y, set it equal to zero. So you will have, if you solve for it, you will get zero is equal to negative x plus three squared plus 10. I'll move the parentheses term to the other side. So that gives me x plus three squared is equal to 10. And then now we take the square roots on both sides. And you have to remember, if you take a square of a square root, we get plus and minus. So we get plus and minus root 10. And then finally, we subtract three X is equal to negative three plus and minus root 10. So there is your X intercept. So our X intercepts are, let's write them out as a point. So we have negative three plus root 10 comma zero and negative three minus. So the second one would be minus root 10 comma zero. Okay, and now what about the y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept is going to be when x is zero. So if you substitute zero for either of these, so either the standard form or the original equation, you will see if you set x equal to zero, you'll get one. So we know that the y-intercept will simply be zero comma one. Okay, great. So now we're ready to sketch this function. So let's go ahead and come up with a graph. So um, here is our X and Y axis. So the vertex is um, negative three, 10. So let's just say um, negative three, 10. So let's just say this is negative three, 10. And then let's say that's 10, that's negative three. And then we have the X intercept. Y intercept is zero, one. So Y is gonna intersect right here. Let's just say that's zero, one. So the X intercept, there is one here and there is one here. And then let's try to make a parabola out of this. So if I connect these points, something like that. <laughs> so that is our parabola. So we have two X intercepts and um, one Y intercept, and that is our graph. So you see the maximum is right here. That's 10. Now we can actually write down the domain and range and also where F is increasing and decreasing. So let's go ahead and do that. So the domain for this function would be what? We know this is a polynomial. So that means the domain of F is all real numbers, negative infinity to infinity. Now, what about the range of this function? Well, the range is the possible y values. So we see the graph exists all the way here. And then once we hit the maximum, it doesn't exist any further. So that's why the range would be negative infinity up to the maximum value, 10. And now finally, we can also talk about where is F increasing. So F would increase. So we read the graph from left to right. So as you can see here, we're going up and we stop right here. And we know that's the negative three from the X direction. So we're increasing from negative infinity up to the vertex, the X coordinate. And then as we hit the vertex, we start to go down. So F is decreasing 
from the vertex, which would be negative three to infinity. So we start to change the direction from this and then go down. So everything sort of happened right around the vertex. All right, so uh, that's it. These are all the details you can write down for a parabola once you have it in standard form. I hope this makes sense.